welcome to my channel it's Oyin Kansala again aka your favorite village girl um today i'll be doing this look um it's a valentine's look i call it my valentine's look i don't know but because i was trying to do something for the season you know to, for the season of love to glam it's not i wouldn't it's not soft but you know something so i decided to do something really nice and colorful for the season of love it is not red but the color that i attribute to the season of love for me is between pinkish purplish like when you mix the color so i decided to do something in that class today and i hope you guys like it so let's get into the video brush my brows then I use my elf ultra precise brow pencil to draw outline my brows then conceal with the Juvia's Place concealer in 12 shape 12 then I take my time to do that then I do that on the same brow on the other brows after that I go ahead to brush my brows like blending the concealer underneath my brows then I'm gonna be using my P Louise base in 01 and for my transition shade I'll be using Nana from my magic palette mini by Juvia Space and taking the regular brushes to blend it in then also I will go in with my shade from the palette and just the, the name is Fenty just to blend it in properly and give it that shade of pink then I will go ahead again and use the purple also known as Candace um, the shade candles, I mean, I broke project. The shade candles to blend. Then I would just take a regular blending brush that is clean just to blend out the ash lines and clean it up properly. Then I went ahead again to use a little pink um, from, um, from the palette that I used previously in Fenty. Then, you know, I wasn't satisfied. I decided to go in with a dark purple, which is the candle shade. I'm sorry, I decided to go in with the candle shade. Just to blend it in and blend it in properly and use a clean brush just to clean out the ash lines then i took my p louise base and a pencil like brush like you can see if you watch my previous video you can remember this brush i use it to cut my crease and i took my time it took me a long time just to get it then i'll just take the same brushes that i use without packing eyeshadow on it and just blend out the edges and the ash line then I also used for my magic palette, I use Ife for the darker side. It's called Ife. Then I'll be using Bori for my Masquerade Mini Palette by Juvia's for the pink. It's called Bori. It has a little pigment to it. And I am using some duochrome pigment that I have with me just for my inner corner. And I'm taking my time. I use the Inglot and I usually take the pencil brush just to get the line properly so what i'm doing is the pink brush that i use for the bori i'm just using it to blend out the ash lines the demarcation properly so it, it looks seamless so blend 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 uh -uh, i'm checking myself out so i'm using a pigment from p louise that i got it's called a pinch of seduction seduction i'm sorry <laughs> a pinch of seduction and i'm just placing it on it and it's really nice i'm going ahead with my pencil brush again just to line it and I'm using the glitter liner just at the crease just to cut the crease properly I, I'm doing that on the other side too and I went ahead to clean out all the fallouts and the SS just to make it look clean and I'm using the same brush that has a little pink shade just to brush it in again just to blend it and for my primer i'm going to be using my remo london stay matte mattifying primer then for my foundation i use the juvia's place shade stick in jacamel and i'm just blending and blending and blending so yes as you notice i like to do my brows top of my brows after when i'm applying my foundation so i'm just taking a small brushes to bring in and guys don't forget your neck so I'm using the same Juvia's Place concealer that I use in shade 12 
as my highlight and i'm just putting on the place i want to highlight which is my underneath my eyes my forehead my nose the bridge of my nose and i'm taking a small blending brush concealer brush just to properly blend it then i will go ahead later on blend 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 you know blending is the key and i'm going to go ahead with my beauty blender just to clean it up properly and properly set it into my face then for my contour i'll be using the true cream contour palette for my face and i'm applying it on the place i want to mm, sculpt <laughs> that's what i'm gonna say sculpt and let the breathe and on my on my nose because i want you know we gotta snatch the nose and i'm taking a brush just to blend it in properly and i'm going back in with my beauty blender without any concealer and just blending it for my nose i like to use brush Then I'm going with the powder, Sasha Cup Buttercup, I'm sorry. I'm going with Sasha Buttercup powder and I'm just putting it into the places that I like. And I'm just patting it in just to set it in before I go ahead and just put it in just to bake it. Because I like to set first. Then for my brows, I'm using my mascara. For my eyelashes, I mean, I'm going to be using my mascara. I do apologize. And I'm going in to also set my contour with my Black Radiance True Complexion Powder. And I'm just patting it in properly just to, you know, set the contour in place. Then I'm going also going to use the same brush that I use for my cream contour. I don't know, I like to use the same brush just to contour my nose. So I usually blend it over to my crease just to have a seamless line for my contour and it's not there's no ash line. And I'm going over to using my powder which is the Milani powder compact powder mineral compact powder just to brush it brush it out and clean up the excess powder on my face while leaving the one on my nose blending blend <laughs> that's my song then don't forget your brows guys because it might be oily because i usually get oily brows so i'm going back in with the brushes that i use for my transitioning shades just to blend underneath my eyelash underneath my eye just to you know create that effect really nice all the same brushes without having adding any product to it all the brushes that i use for my crease and i'm just gonna blend it in underneath my eyeline and I'm going to go ahead and fix my eyelashes. I got the eyelashes from AliExpress. Guys, it's very affordable. I think I got a pack of seven for like a dollar. I'm sorry. I got a pack of seven for like, yeah, a dollar. A dollar fifty, if I'm to say. You know, I take my time because I tear a lot. So I just have to take my time. And I can use the both the tweezer on my hand. And for my blush, I'm using Juvia's Place Blush in Bella. And I'm just going to go ahead and pack it on my cheek and blend, 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 blend. But because we don't want to have no ash line, harsh line, I mean. So I'm going to <laughs> blend, blend, blend. Oh, English is that? <laughs> then I'm just going to use my powder to just pat it onto my skin properly. You know, clean it up, final clean up. Then I'm, for the highlighter, I'm using the um, Laura Geller highlighter that I got for my box, BoxyCharm collection on, at the Bridge of Renaissance. And I'm using my hand because I can control the blending. And for my lip liner, I'm using my BFF Colourpop, I'm sorry, Colourpop Lippy Pencil in BFF 2. Then I'll be going ahead with my Anastasia Beverly Hills in naked liquid lipstick just to you know pat it together gently not over smack it together you know just to blend it in properly then i'll be going over again just to use my pencil to brush it in a little bit so it's the lines are seamless and there's no ash line you see guys then i'll use the same concealer brush just to clean it up without putting any product on it just to clean out all the mistakes that i have 
and going in to use my also using my lorigala on my cheekbones you know just to give you know highlights my face the places you want to highlight and i think i really like it i don't know i was having mixed feelings about it i hope you guys like it and i'm putting on my forehead also brush brush blend 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 so don't forget your inner corner just to give it that vibrant look I hope you guys enjoyed the video thank you very much for watching don't forget to subscribe like and comment below and any suggestions as to the videos you want me to do in future as to the look you want me to do in future that is beginner friendly so that we can learn together you can put it down in the comment section below and thank you very much thumbs up like share and subscribe